This bucket seems to have been hung here for purely decorative reasons. Wooden fences all... I don't want to cover up these people's works. I've already made an entry on this. Beverly? It might be able to support a glass of beer, but not this table. Actually, it just needs one more mew. My father used to say, the only thing more stable than a beer coaster was two beer coasters. I think I finally understand what he meant. Small ads, postings, announcements. They are holding a town fair tonight with a band and a raffle. Exciting. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. Being the only guest, I was wondering, well, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. That door over there hasn't been opened in a while, has it? That's the door to the cellar, where my brother built his little lair. No one has taken any interest in that door since he left. He just took the key with him. Anything else I can do for you? Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers! What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. But I believe this ordinary table is not deserving of your delicate tablecloth. Good morning. Excuse me, sir.
Are you feeling any better, now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Klaus disappeared. Who is Klaus? Klaus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now, he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Were you whining too much over his loss? I don't know. Klaus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, uh, the whole village. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town, driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Zuls, entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation, district mayor of Trubabrook Zuls and Trubabrook Dussel. Assistant Secretary to the Municipal Council, Patron of Troberbrook and the Arts, well known beyond the borders of this country. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous, they leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. Please, go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. They closed down the mines, drove away the people and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. Please excuse me. A beautiful, healthy tree. Arcasoidu platanus, the sycamore maple. Nine lives or not, I don't think it would survive that drop. Soft as a feather. Thank you.
You like this, don't you? Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Please excuse me. Nowhere to run from here, kitty. I think he passed out. Now I've got you. Is this by chance your cat, Claus? Oh, my beloved Claus. Where have you been? You look exhausted, old friend. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. I'd have given you everything. My heritage, my stocks, my startups. Yet all you desire in your modesty is this aged key. Here you are. I can't fathom what you may want with it, but please take it. Actually, it's quite a nice table. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. I need to know what happens next. I'd rather not disturb... Unfortunately, it doesn't fit. About the cable car.
What was the problem with the power line again? We have to fix the high voltage power cord in order to get the cable car running. If you touch it, it will fry your synapses. We still have to reconnect the loose ends somehow. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, I was just about to ask. I wonder what interest the burglar has in my paper. Presumably not the brightest candle on the cake. Who else would steal a paper on quantum physics? I just wanted to say hi. Now it's glowing green. I have to insert a coin first. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Is there not a single policeman in this godforsaken hole? Godforsaken? Be careful what you say. The inspector is in charge of the whole county. And it has been 15 years since something happened in Trüberbrook. A dog had run off, if I remember correctly. Would you like to hear the story? Uh, not really. Just keep me informed, please. Of course, Mr. Tenhauser. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. I'm not tired. They don't seem to have many bookings. All the keys are still there. The upper section has been torn off. Trubber Brook, County of Broken Lenda, one kilometer. Or I put a nice fluffy blanket over the top of that rowboat. Good idea. I only need some bait. Stop. There's a... The next city is...
Paddleboat rental. One hour, one Deutschmark. Hades. Paddleboat rental, souvenirs, fishing supplies. Closed. Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. There's a selection of local charcuterie on display. Wurstebrei, Stippgrütze, Schlagte Platte, Patelke, Tote Oma. Good morning. You've been so kind to me today. You have reunited an old man with his loyal cat. Good morning. You've been you have Actually, it's quite a nice table. Seems very focused. I need to know what happens next. I'd rather not disturb the little. They serve traditionally hearty local meals in this place. Apparently, a few maggots found themselves a lovely home in there. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. Hmm. There's something funny about that clock. Morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Any news from the police office yet? I'm sure your case is of the highest priority to the inspector. He assured me he would set off as soon as his time allows. About the cable car? Sure. What else do you want to know? Do you have an idea what became of the Baron's cat? After he had lost the mine, the cable car, and his wife, all that remained was a kitten. If you ask me, it was probably a bit too much for the poor creature. I've heard enough. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be leaving then. Make yourself... The local gondola lift's hauling cable seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. A smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage?
This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. Hi. Hey. I wonder what interest the burglar has in my paper. Presumably not the brightest candle on the cake. Who else would steal a paper on quantum physics? I just wanted to say hi. All right. Don't forget we need to get the cable car working. platform further uptown presents a wonderful view of the valley. Leaning on this rusty rail, nose to the wind, I can let my gaze wander freely to the other shore and across the mountains. You can see all over the valley. From this distance, I can only imagine what's on the other shore. I've already made an end. The local, although there are a smell of a... The mysterious village. Good idea. I only need some bait. I'll save you, my little friend. Well then, good catch.
What the? Uh, can opener. There's a brown tube inside, but why would I need one? There's a brown tube inside, but why would I need one? idea, Hans, but that doesn't work at all. I wouldn't know how. idea, Hans, but that doesn't work at all. Hi. Hey. I... Case for the metal restorer. You? I don't want to frighten him. I don't want to frighten him. Truda would probably not approve of my appearance. Truda would probably not approve of my appearance.
voila. There's a current again. I'll just leave it like that. some clots. We'll meet on top. In case you manage to find a way, see ya! Neck circumference 39 centimeters. Heart rate 66 steady. Generally neglected yet overall stable condition. Vigilance decrement, patient somnolent. Reduced effect display. Skin pigmentation livid. Nutritional basic needs barely met. Muscular system recessive, possible myopathy. Barrel shaped thorax, strongly noticeable funnel chest. Raisin colored nodes on both sides of the mid clavicular line in the fourth ICS. Marfan syndrome, arachnodactyly. Lower extremities atrophic. Enormous kyphosis. Extremities bilaterally impaired, reduced muscle tone. Weak monosynaptic reflex. Mm. Oh. Past finger oh. nose coherence test line without anomalies. Abdomen flexible, no hardening. Overly vibrant bowel noises. Huh? Brisk peristalsis. Huh? Reduced breathing what? sound, right hand side, basal. Hyper reflexia, mood agitated. Patient's condition unclear. Where am I? Patient has regained consciousness and appears responsive. Excuse me, please. Could you tell me where I am? Patient's orientation to person, space, time, and dimension remains unclear. <sighs> I have to ask you a couple of questions. How are you feeling? Ouch. Who are you? Remember, what are you doing here? The original idea was to go on vacation. Assuming you knew, where have you been born or assembled? I'm not from here. I come from far away. Have you ever had a déjà vu? Only that I don't even understand this question either. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? You are going to have an out-of-body experience in a moment, pal. Interesting. Please remain prepared for further examinations. Are you even listening to me? I'm afraid we can't let you leave until we have verified your right to stay. It's for your own safety. Just knock the door loud and clearly when you feel able to undergo a few more experiments. I'll be there to pick you up. 
The patient's status remains unclear. Uh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Dr. Remla, please behave. They took away all my cool gadgets and locked me up in this small room. I tried protesting, but to no avail. What have I gotten myself into? It definitely doesn't feel like a relaxing summer vacation so far. They don't seem to take hygiene too seriously around here. I'd rather not know what happened here. I'm not tired. It's locked tight. Where the heck am I? Fried. Fuse box. The lid is hanging off its hinges. Are you ready for further tests? Let me go. First, the tests. I have to go to the bathroom. Forget it. I'm feeling a light breeze of air. Maybe I can squeeze through. I can't reach it. Why, of course. But where? dose of chloride is the only option. It's calcified. Memories of my dorm room, not so long ago. No water pressure, or clogged. Looks rusty. A coin. It fell right out of the shower head and right into my inventory for some cosmic reason. The benefits of capitalism. Now it's working. There's something written on the wall. I could use this to climb to the hatch. Doesn't have a coin slot. Are you ready? Let me go. Sir. I have to. Fried.
As beautiful as the view is, I think I'd rather leave. A pretty steep downslope. I guess I'll have to find another way. An aquarium full of leeches? This place is full of strange surprises. I'm not in the mood for a snack right now. I'm not in the mood for a snack right now. So many books. Maybe I should consider staying in this place. Construction schematics for a quantum discriminator. Never heard of it. I am a quantum physicist for what it's worth. X-rays. The wonders of science. Take it with me. It might come in handy should I need an improvised hat. Iron bars? This place is a prison. The door to the room where they had me locked up. Not as long as the snoring bully is sitting there. He's sound asleep, but I'd rather not push my luck. list of patients. I can barely imagine what these poor souls must have gone through. As far as I know, these apparatuses serve therapeutic purposes. They do, right? Sanatorium Paradiso, a bucolic sanctuary in the climatic health resort Trevor Brook. Beautifully situated retreat, fresh forest air, wooded mountain slopes, established high cuisine. What's in there? I need the right combination. Not as long as the snoring bully is sitting there. Sanatorium Paradiso. What a strange place. This door is sealed by a humongous lock.
I'm not really going to have to replace the fuses, right? My dad always used to say, son, whatever you do, stay away from fuse boxes. for further tests. Let me go. First, the test. I have to... I'm not in the mood for a snack right now. A pretty steep downslope. I guess I'll have to find another way. No coals, no matches. Let me go. Fine then, I'm ready. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. Could these be the keys to the main entrance? I know exactly what you are up to. Forget it. He's going to flick the switch on me if I make even the slightest move. Could you adjust the contrast settings? Now just get going already. If you say so. Let's start with a short evaluation of your associative capabilities. A sort of warm-up, if you will. We are going to show you a series of images, and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. First image. A mesh of dots and lines, like the neural pathways of a nervous wreck. Ever heard of social anxiety? Fascinating. Second image. A spaceship. The Andromeda. Oh. No, it isn't. Just as expected. Image number three. A beautiful butterfly. Have you ever been bitten by a butterfly? No. 
Me either. Remarkable. And we're done. That's that. Mr. Tenhauser, there is no need to play games anymore. It's your decision to make. We both know you'll run out of excuses sooner or later. That's when we've got you. Then you'll have nowhere left to hide. We know who and what you are. Ultimately, it's up to you to take that first step into the right direction. Let's keep you here for the time being. Now we only need to get a few things set up. Then we'll pick you up once the proceedings are about to commence. Knock on the door when you feel ready. I think I'm sobering up again finally. What a trip. It's locked time. Brute force won't help. is a prison. Need the right combination. 